Welcome back everyone, and I know that we are all waiting on Fidelity FX Super Resolution. In fact, you guys have mentioned it quite a bit in the previous videos where we talk about ray tracing on the 6800 series. Now what we have right here, this is the Sapphire Nitro Plus Radeon RX 50, 60, 6800 XT. It's quite a nice card, carries a good, uh, quite a premium markup over the reference version of the 6800 XT, but we use this card to test out a feature that Sapphire has brought to the table. Now, admittedly, the feature can work on all Radeon cards. It's not limited to the 6000 series or even their version of whatever graphics card you're going with, it, as long as it's an AMD graphics card and it supports a few features, you can use it. Now, what I'm talking about is Sapphire Tricks Boost. Now, this isn't some kind of a magical software. What it is is a really cool way that Sapphire has made a, an easy to use toggle because one of the things people love about DLSS, even in the versions that don't work so well, is that it's a tick. You just pick it and it turns on and it just works. But this is allows you to go into the Radio or the Tricks boot or trick software so you need the sapphire tricks software installed and there's a tab that says tricks boost now in that boost tab you have the option for three different resolutions now there is no native support in here for ultra wide resolutions sapphire fix that you need ultra wide resolutions in here because if you got 4k you need ultra wide there's as many people using ultra wide as there are 4k so what it does is it gives you a slider now the slider gives you up to a 30 percent adjustability level. So you can go from 100 all the way down to 70%. Now when you do that, if you notice next to the numbers there, there is a number that changes out to the next for the resolution. Now that is a resolution modifier. Now it does not go ahead and change these native resolutions to that. So 4K at 85% shows 3264 by 1836. 1440p at 85% is 2176. Uh, by 1224. Now that is the number we're going to pay attention to in this video. Now what it does is it generates that resolution. So now when you do that, there's another checkbox at the bottom of the screen that allows you to enable Radeon image sharpening. Now what we're going to show you on the screen after that is some side-by-side -side gameplay. What you're seeing is it's unlabeled and that's intentional. So what you're seeing is the native 4K image for Horizon Zero Dawn with ultra settings, no, con no cast enabled, and then you're seeing on one side, the other side, you're seeing it at 85% with Radeon image sharpening applied. So if you can't tell the difference here, then while you're playing it, why not make use of this feature to try and gain you some performance back? I wanted to see how it could impact ray tracing performance in the games that we've tested so far. So what we did was we tested as it is the 6800 XT against the 3080. Now if the game supports DLSS, we did use DLSS in quality mode. Uh, or rather if it just has it we turn it on some games don't have quality and whatever it's just either on or off and then we test it with the 6800 XT and then with what we're calling the 6800 XT boost now before we take a look at the results I just want to throw up the test bench on the screen so you can make sure and take a moment and see what we're working with here and we are using the latest drivers and for the sapphire card we are using tricks software so no overclocks just as it comes out of the box now kicking things off in shadow of the tomb raider we see uh 52 fps again up against the 3080s 68 without the lss in involved now if you enable tricks boost and you change the resolution and let it do its thing boom 20 percent performance gain with very minimal if any visual impact that you're going to have any you're going to have a hard time telling so 20 percent uplift we go from 60 rather sorry i got my numbers backwards 60 up to 72 fps with a 62 on the one percent percentiles which smooths out the gameplay tremendously now moving into call of duty black ops cold war we saw 47 FPS average on the 6800 XT with RT Ultra. Now, admittedly, we did test in the past that you can turn these things down to medium. You can even just do shadows, whatever, and get a lot more performance. We want to see total impact here. Uh, 75 FPS on the 3080. You enable tricks boost and you go from 47 to 55 FPS. Now, that's a big jump. That's a 17% performance improvement just by utilizing this feature. Now, no, that's not quite going to take you up to 3080 level performance, but if you want to drop the settings down to ray traced on medium, turn off like uh, the, the ambient occlusion, 
turn that off, you're gonna get plenty of performance to turn on ray tracing and stay over that 60 FPS mark on that. Now, Watch Dog Legions, we just did that one and we saw the 48 FPS average of the 6800 XT not being quite as playable as the 66% or 66 FPS without DLSS on the 3080. However, if you enable Trix Boost, you're gonna go up to 59 FPS. That's a 23% increase in performance and that minimum, that 1% percentile is now the same or just above the average FPS of the 6800 XT at native. Moving things into the Rift Breaker, this is where we see the biggest performance jump. Now you're already running this game stupid fast anyway, so I don't know that I would even be that concerned about this in here, but you do get a 26% increase and that actually puts the 6800 XT ahead of the 3080 in this particular title. Now what about uh, Control? That's a pretty hefty one. That's a pretty hefty one. Uh, well, quite honestly, it's not gonna do you any good. See, this game only supports uh, typical resolutions. It's not supporting these in-between steps. So even with Trix uh, Boost enabled and these other resolutions even being able to be seen, if you change your monitor to that resolution and load the game up, it's just gonna step down to the next lowest resolution or step up to the next highest one. So it's either subsampled or super sampled. So uh, it doesn't do a whole lot of good there. So you're definitely gonna have to wait for something like Fidelity FX Super Resolution to fix that, or you can just run at a much lower resolution, which is quite ugly. But the last game we're gonna take a look at is Dirt 5, where Radeon's already performing quite well in this title, and there is no DLSS in this title, so can't run that, it's just straight up how it is. And well, this one suffers from the same thing as Control, where you have to go with basically standard resolutions. Even the modifiers don't show up in this title in the, re the, the resolution selection thing, so I mean, you do have a variable. There's a lot of things with Dirt 5, so you just play around with that one. Not really sure what's going on with some of the things there. But there you have it. Uh, no, it is not 2440 by 1440. It is a subs, you know, it is a lower resolution. It's running, let me see here, check my notes. 2176 by 1224. Now that's an 85% reduction of pixels, which is resulting in quite the nice boost in performance across the board when it's able to work. Is this a solution that would replace DLSS? No. Is this a solution that will replace Fidelity FX Super Resolution? No. But it is available in most titles and it doesn't re re reply to ray tracing. I just wanted to see would it give it enough boost in ray tracing to really make it viable and hold on to being able to use that until the game launches. Now, going forward, when I do ray tracing support testing on games, if there is no fidelity FX super resolution, but I can utilize Trix Boost, is that something you'd like for me to put in the results? Because if it's got DLSS, I'm gonna use it in quality mode. I actually don't mind doing this. I think this is actually a really good option for people out there with these cards. Now it's been around for a while, it's not new. It's not like I found this special hidden feature. I just wanted to see could it apply in this scenario. And quite frankly, it does, it delivers. Sapphire, you did a good job with this one. It's very simple. It's kind of, um, kind of makes it easy for people to use. So I really appreciate those kind of things. So let me know what you think about below. Would you be willing to install Trix software to enable Trix Boost? Or would you rather just go about it yourself and enable your own custom resolutions and then add Radeon image sharpening as you see fit? Or do you think it's stupid and you should just only run at native resolutions? Because I'm telling you guys, just native resolutions is kind of a dead thing. So love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. It's been Keith WCC Update TV and we'll catch you guys in the next video.